What's up, Warrior Babes? Hey, everybody. Nikki here, and welcome to our Warrior Babe Revolution Rally Call. I am stoked to be here. Really quick, happy Father's Day to all the dads, all your husbands, um, all of your partners. I hope that you guys have had a great Father's Day so far. So to jump into this rally call, I'm going to keep it short and sweet because I know that uh, everybody is spending time with their family and I wouldn't be able to spend time with mine since I just got done an hour uh, Q&A with the Blueprint program. So really quick, keeping you guys fire and lit uh, for a new weeks moving forward. I am going to present you with um, today's topic, which I'm going to just dive right into it. Um, and and get you guys excited to start a new week, which, you know, if you guys are enjoying your times with your family and uh, you're having a cheat meal today or maybe you would kind of use a cheat day instead of a cheat meal, know that tomorrow is a new day. Don't beat yourself up over it. Don't go do tons of cardio tomorrow. Don't feel like you need to eat less, all right? So I'm just saying that before I dive into today's topic um, because today's topic is really employing the – uh, importance of consistency and implementing patience. And I've talked about this before, but it was one of my like one of my favorite things to talk about um, is to, for you guys to understand how important consistency is. And it's not really about perfection; it's just about being consistent and how to implement patience for yourself. So maybe you had a little bit of a weekend where you kind of went off course because of this holiday and you're spending time with your family and your dad is in town or your husband wanted to barbecue or whatever. Um, understand that this may put you back like a day or two. And this is where you need to employ patience for yourself because so many of us want results like yesterday, right? So many of us want results yesterday and they want results faster. And I hate to break it to you, but on this journey when you're trying to change your body composition, I mean, that alone, when I say it that way, you're changing your body composition. That's just really fire in your brain. Like, that's just going to take time. (laughs) That's just going to take time. Losing weight, um, it, what you guys are doing here in Warrior Bay, losing weight is a hell of a lot different than um, than losing fat and changing your body composition. All right, you guys are building muscle, you're getting toned. That requires a lot of time. That requires patience on your end. So for a lot of people, it's this lack of patience that's the issue in getting results. Well, let's let that sink in. <laughs> for a lot of people, it's a lack of patience that's the issue in getting results. You, a lot of people... And maybe this may be something that kind of spirals off of a weekend like this, or maybe you've done this in the past where you've turned one cheat into two cheats and then two turns into a week and then a week turns into two months. You know, when you guys start something new and you try and get back on track and tomorrow's like a new day, honestly, a lot of people give up on their diet and training before they even give their body the chance to respond and change. So, like, a lot of people go into a program and then two weeks are in and they're like, well, why isn't anything happening? Why, why am I not seeing response or why am I not seeing any change? And this is where a lot of people give up. And it's literally like they're, they're so freaking close. Like their body is about to show the reward of them putting in consistency over two weeks and then people give up. And this, this could be the same thing that happens to you on a weekend like this. It's like, oh, my God, you were on it for two weeks and you had a little hiccup this weekend or any weekend that you've had in the past is like, it's, it, this doesn't set you back. It's then the aftermath that sets you back. It's the aftermath of like one sheet turns into two and two turns into two weeks and two weeks turns into a month. All right. Understand that if you, once you say you get back on track or say you're, you're just starting into warrior babe, right? Just because you, you didn't lose weight for a week doesn't mean that you aren't making progress. Like, sometimes I really have to pinpoint this on my clients that I work with one-on-one. Like, when I'm really blunt, I'm like, okay, there wasn't anything changed this week. That doesn't mean that you're not making progress. I mean, there's, like, so many freaking data points to focus on with photos and your measurements and weight. And somebody may may show differently in a data point than somebody else does. Like, for example, when I do my check-ins with my VIPs, somebody will consistently show in photos and a weight drop, while others will show in photos and measurement drops or not even in photos, but their weight and their measurements are dropping, right? So everybody's data points are completely different. So just because you didn't lose weight in a week doesn't mean that you aren't making any progress. Like drill that into your head. Just because you don't lose any weight for a week does not mean you are making progress. I just got off the Blueprints Q&A call, and one of the babes, Rebecca, 
sure you guys know you've seen her inside the, in the Revolution group. Um, she shared her photos, and she shared her measurements, and she, she shared that her weight hadn't changed. But when you looked at your photo, her photos, you could see drastic freaking difference. Drastic difference. She's tighter in her midsection. Her core is popping a little bit more. There's more definition in her ab wall, but yet her weight and her measurements didn't change. And this is where a lot of people get tripped up because they get so focused on a number. And, yeah, you may be taking your weight, you may be taking measurements, but are you taking photos? Are you actually checking in with how you are feeling? Because you can be making progress in that, in that area, but you may not be making progress in your weight, and that is okay. So just because you didn't lose a specific number in a week does not mean that you aren't making any progress, you guys. What you need to focus on here is, like, if you're somebody who gives up on your diet or your training before you even allow your body the chance to respond, and you're one of those people that gets really discouraged if you're not making any progress on a week-to-week basis, basis, you need to change the way that your mental thought process is, is happening. You need to find why you're getting triggered by a number on the scale. You need to understand the relationship that you have with that number, and you need to realize that that kind of relationship is not serving you moving forward. What you then can better shift your focus to is focusing on developing sustainable habits because, like I said at the beginning of this rally call, the fact of you implementing patience and changing your body composition, clearly changing your body composition takes time. So over that time, you need to focus on developing sustainable habits. Focus, focus less on how, things, how long things are taking you and more on what you are doing daily to better yourself towards reaching your goals, right? Like think about it. Like two weeks or however when you first started Warrior Babe or maybe last week you're doing something different than you are doing now, right? You're, you're shifting your habit and you're shifting your focus to learn, like, for example, perfect example. I love being able to pull in examples here for you guys so you guys can just paint the story for yourself. But when I was doing my check-ins with my VIPs, one of the things that I asked them on a weekly basis is what went right this week. And two of my babes out of, like, 70-plus that we have in the VIP wrote, that their mindset shifted into an understanding that this is not a chore, their nutrition, their workouts are not a chore, that it is something that they look forward to doing. And if you can shift your mindset away from numbers and away from thinking, I just have to finish this freaking workout today, and, and shift it into this is my lifestyle, I'm developing these habits that are going to serve you for the rest of your life, you can continue working out to your 80 years old, like, yes, please, but you have to develop that habit right now. If you can learn to eat better for yourself when you're 80 years old and fight off diseases and fight off all this shit that comes with that, obesity, all that kind of stuff, you have to develop those habits right now. And if you're looking for quick fixes and you're in the wrong place, you're not, the quick fixes are not teaching you sustainable habits over a long period of time. What we are teaching you here in Warrior Babe is sustainable habits. And something that you can focus on and it not being a chore, something that you enjoy doing. So you don't have to be perfect to lose fat, to build muscle, to gain confidence within yourself, to get stronger, create a healthier lifestyle, but you do need to be consistent. You have to be consistent. You don't have to be perfect, but you have to be consistent. What do I mean by consistent? It's like consistently keep active, consistently make better food choices, consistently be kind to yourself, consistently find these triggered relationships with food or the scale that don't serve you. Think about the person that you are becoming. Think about you already achieving your goals. How does that person think? Do they have a triggered relationship with the scale? Do they have a triggered relationship with food? Absolutely not because they've learned through developing their goal and reaching their goal that those food is good and fuel and the scale doesn't fucking even matter especially when you're changing your body composition. And you consistently need to make yourself and your goals a priority. For the last couple of weeks in the rally calls, I have focused specifically on that mindset tactic of making yourself a priority. When you make yourself a priority, everything around you gets better. All right, babe, so keeping this rally call short and simple, getting you guys fired up, uh, moving into a new week, moving forward, but learning how to understand the importance of consistency. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to be consistent. And consistent meaning across the board, keeping active, making better food choices, hitting your macros, being kind to yourself, finding the relationships that you have with your journey and getting rid of the things that don't serve you and focusing on the things that do serve you and consistently making yourself and your goals a priority and then implementing patience. Know that some weeks you're not going to be making progress, but it doesn't mean that you're not making progress. You could be making progress in other areas. Just because the number's not changing, your photos could be changing. Make sure you're crossing off all data points. 
focus on developing sustainable habits and enjoy this journey that you are on. Like I said last week on the rally call, fall in love with your journey. This is something that will serve you for the rest of your life if you can develop these sustainable habits right now. This is why I am in the body that I have right now because this is five years of employing on habits that I know are going to serve me for years to come. And they have because I've consistently kept up with them. All right, you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Enjoy your time with your, the men in your life, if they're fathers to you, your husband, um, your partner. And I will catch you guys on Wednesday for our live Q&A. I'll see you guys there. Have a good rest of your evening. Start this week off strong. And remember the importance of consistency and implementing patience. See you, everyone.